What's up everybody? Welcome back to another edition of Dag's Dangles. I'm your host Justin Dag, aka The Dangler. Dago, waiting, gets it across to Miele. Miele, shot to the... Oh, it's now today we're going to be going over everything you need to know about shooting. We're going to include your wrist shot, snap shot, slap shot, and your backhand. So we're going to break everything down into three simple steps. So make sure you're paying attention here. And again, you don't need to be on the ice to do this. Obviously it helps, but find an area where you can start shooting, whether you set up a net in the garage, backyard. I used to shoot against the fence. Parents probably won't like that. But find a way that you can start working on these things on your own time. 45 seconds after the Penguins score. Down Kessel, ties the game at two. So we'll talk about snap shots now. With a snapshot, it's very similar to the wrist shot, and all the same techniques apply across the board. So what we're going to do for a snapshot is instead of bringing the puck back behind our foot for a wrist shot, we're going to put the puck slightly in front of us. So a little bit out of reach, so it's almost like we're having to do a toe drag. So when that happens, we got our hands really, really close together. Okay, not as wide apart as we do with a slap shot or a wrist shot. So we're reaching for that puck. Now what I do is I pull the puck in closer towards my stance, and as you notice, my hand has to slide. Okay? So now we do the same thing as far as trigger point and weight transfer, but this shot's a little more arm intensive. Okay? So what we do, we reach for that puck, hands are really, really close together, we pull the puck in, and right when we get to our trigger point, we, we snap our wrists. So the wrists have to roll and snap, hence the name snapshot. So if we break it down, step one, reach, without bending over top of my toes with straight legs. We still want to make sure we're reaching, transferring our weight between our feet. So we reach, pull the puck in, and snap those wrists, okay? Now the same thing applies with the follow through. We want to get our hands away from our body, find our target, and point to it. Trying to center back to Kane, his back header, he's, oh what a shot! Patrick Kane! So last shot we got for everybody, the backhand. Now too many people don't spend enough time working on their backhand. Just like they don't spend enough time turning their uncomfortable way with skating. A lot of times we got to make sure we balance everything out. So every time we do a wrist shot, let's make sure we're also working on our, our backhand, okay? Same thing applies as the wrist shot, we've got to load up the shot. I see a lot of people that try to take backhands and they scoop the puck in front of them. And again, it's all arms. Big mistake. Green, around Green. Crosby's backhander. Did that go in? I yeah, think it did. did. Yeah, so one more thing with the backhand. It's just like the wrist shot, just like the slap shot. We've got to load it up. That's step one. So we've got to get in our hockey stance. Puck behind our back foot. That's step one, loading it up. Step two, transferring our weight. Trigger point where we open and close the wrist real quick and then the follow through. All right, so step one, load it up. We gotta make sure we cradle the pucks. We gotta bend those wrists. As we come through, open and close and follow through. So here's how it looks fast. All right, notice on the finish, all the weight is back to the front foot, okay? So that's proper technique. Common mistakes, like I said, we'll have people that start with the puck in front of them and they just try to scoop the puck. Just like they do with the wrist shot. When you start with the puck in front, what's going to happen is the puck is going to roll and flutter. We're not going to have any power there. So we've got to load it up. Alright everyone, that's it for another episode of Dags Dangles. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope you guys learned something. Huge shout out to Paradise for letting us film here and using the ice. Now if you're looking for an opportunity to get on the ice and start working on these things, check out KimuraHockey.co.nz. We've got lots of stuff on the go. And a huge thank you, obviously, to CenterIce.co.nz for all your hockey needs. They got you covered. Thanks again for tuning in. We'll see you next time.